Hi, this is Peter from PowerDirectorTutorials.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add YouTube-like annotations to your videos with Cyberlink PowerDirector. So here's one I've prepared earlier with a couple of annotations at the beginning. Here's the special effects. So that looked pretty cool. Compared to YouTube, they're not as straightforward to do, but the advantage is that we can do a little more with the text. So uh, before we head over to PowerDirector, uh, we need to create a couple of background images that we can use behind the text. And we need to create different uh, aspect ratios. So we, we've got a square one here, which is five by five pixels. We have a portrait one here, which is 5 by 15, a landscape one which is 15 by 5 pixels, there's another slightly landscape one which is 7 by 5 pixels, and lastly a slightly portrait one which is 5 by 7 pixels. So head over to PowerDirector now, let's get a sample video set up here, then we head over to the title room, add a default title to the title track, and then double click on the default title there. We can double click on my title to change the text. And then we can move this about and modify the text. So I want smaller text and something that looks nicer. I'll go with Fedana. And let's change the color. Since I'm going to have a black transparent background, I want white text. There we go. I'll just finish off the rest of this annotation. So there's my annotation. I'll make the text bold here. Alright, there we go. There's our annotation. What I want to do now is add a background. So we click here, insert a new photo. And we select one of our images. I think a slightly landscape one would fit here. So I'll go for that. The reason why we have to have so many different background images is that we can't uh, we don't have full freedom over resizing here. We can only uh, resize keeping the aspect ratio. So this one looks well. What we need to do is modify this background. So on the modify animation properties, select the slightly landscape background object. And then we click the down arrow to move it down behind the text. There we go, just move things about a bit. Make sure you click back on the background. And then we want to modify the background properties, which is under this tab here. I want to remove that background shade shadow. So uncheck the apply shadow. And I want to make it slightly transparent. So under font face settings, we just increase the transparency. And that's it. Lastly, I want to have uh, rounded borders. So we head over to border settings, apply a border, and I want it to blend in so it looks like just one background box. So what we do is we just change the uniform color, make it the same color, so black, and make the transparency the same percent. So I had 42%, so I'm going to make it 40 42% here, and that's it. There's our title, if we have a look at that. It looks pretty good, however the background's kind of fading in and out. 
which is not what I expected at first. So what we do is we go back to the settings, click on the background again, and you'll notice here the orange slider here. What we want to do is just make it uh, synchronize that with the text so it will pop up at the same time as the text. If we run that video again, you will notice that everything will disappear at the same time. There. Of course we can resize this. Now what I want to do next is apply some fancy effects to the text. So go back to the settings, click on the text and then we can head over to animation properties and we've got a couple of things down here. So the starting effect. So we can choose some stuff here. So just go for something. I'll choose twinkle and for the fading ending effect we choose another one so I'll go for this one. There we have it, we've got text and we can make the background fade in and out click on the background and then we just move the orange one in a little bit move the orange one in a bit here keep the blue ones at the end and there it should fade in and out so let's have a look at that now That's it. There's our annotation. Looks pretty good. You can just head over to produce, produce your video with that annotation.